Hey, what's going on everybody? A real quick tip that I saw on YouTube about the poor man's filet mignon, okay? What this is, is you take a cheap steak, and tonight I'm using Chuck Tenderloin that I got on sale. Uh, it was $13.99 with $5 off, so I got them for like eight bucks, you know, nine bucks, whatever it is. Um, they got them on sale, and you cover the steak with salt. Now, they recommended of sea salt, so I covered as much as I could with sea salt and then finished it off with table salt. And what you do is for every one inch of steak, you leave the salt on for an hour. So a one inch steak, you're gonna leave it covered for an hour. Two inch steak, two hours. You get the idea. A quarter inch steak would be 15 minutes. Uh, one ha an inch in, uh, a half inch steak would be a half hour. You got it. So anyway, I've got them covered in salt right now and I'm gonna show you the steaks. These are the steaks that I have covered in salt, and I'm going to leave them set here for an hour. These steaks are about an inch thick. And what this is supposed to do, it's supposed to do so, it's supposed to draw out the moisture, and it's supposed to break down the molecules in, in the meat and make it more tender, like open the meat up so that it is more tender. And it should be a nice, tender, juicy steak. And then after I get these done, this will be an hour, I'm going to rinse these off in the sink and get all the salt rinsed off of them. And then I'm going to season them the way that I normally season them with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then I'm going to take them out and grill them. And once I get them grilled, we'll see how they go. All right. So if it's something you want to try, uh, go ahead and try it. If you want to wait to see what I think of it, just hang around and I'll show you. All right. So I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, so real quick, I thought I would show you what the steaks are looking like under here. It's been about three and a half minutes, and I've already flipped them once. And these are the steaks cooking up here. And they're looking pretty good. They smell really good, and I hope they taste even better. Alright. Be back, guys. Alright guys, I'm back here and uh, here's one of the steaks on the plate before I cut it and I'm letting it rest for a little bit. Uh, forgive the lighting, I don't have really good lighting right now, I'm still working on that. But this is the steak right here that I'm going to be cutting and I'm going to give it a couple more minutes to rest and then I'm going to cut it and then we'll see what it looks like in the middle, alright? Alright, I've cooked this steak to a, between a rare and a medium rare. And it's still really nice and juicy. You have to give forgive me here because I can't I can't uh, use the knife. But this is a cheap steak right here. You can see that little piece of fat right there wants to hold on to it. But you can see that I can cut this with a fork like so. And then uh, I want to see how this tastes. Tastes pretty darn good. I tell you. I'll try another bite of that. I got my fresh ground sea salt on there. And my fresh ground peppercorn. And that peppercorn really comes through. I mean, it really comes through. This piece doesn't want to come loose. <clears throat> there we go. All right, right there. Not wanting to focus on it. Focus. Focus. There we go. A little focus. There we go. Nice little peppercorn in there. You see that peppercorn? All right. It's a good steak. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, I recommend trying it at least. See what you think of it. See the tenderizing your steak with sea salt and see how that comes out for you let me know all right guys i'll see you later i'm gonna go eat because i'm hungry and i hope you're hungry too and i hope these videos influence you to get out in your backyard and do a little grilling all right so here's the final verdict tenderizing the steaks with the sea salt may be a good idea but I didn't keep one or two of them from being tenderized and I put sea salt on all the steaks so I have nothing to compare them to. Number two, when I salted them 
I only had a limited amount of sea salt to use, so I covered the rest of the steak, and we put sea salt on all of them, but I threw some table salt on them as well, and I think that was a mistake, because I believe that the table salt permeated its way down into the meat, so even though that I washed the salt off, there was still a salty flavor left on the meat, and then when I salted the meat and peppered the meat, of course, it was, came out a little bit salty for my taste, but the pepper kind of evened it out a little bit. But still, I, don't, I wouldn't use any kind of table salt. Uh, stick with the sea salt, uh, the coarse cut salt, I think would be better. As far as tenderizing, um, from what I saw, what I had, uh, some of the steak actually did seem more tender. And it wasn't really bad, but there were some pieces that, uh, that were still tough that had... Um, whatever not ligaments but uh, still had some joint some some connective tissue in there that was just tough so it was just a cut of meat but for the most part some of the meat I've got gnats flying here for the most part most of the meat was really really tender but there were some sections that were still tough so I can't say for sure if salting the meat tenderizing it with the salt actually does work but i am going to try it again and the next time i'm just going to use sea salt and i'm going to set a steak aside and not put anything on that steak to see if it does actually tenderize it so if you guys try this out and you get any kind of different results results and you think that hey man this is a good idea let me know all right and uh, i will see you guys later